Hi, I'm Andre from the John Morris Group, and today we're here to look at the Atlas HD from Cirrus. So what do you get when you cross Formula One engineers with a bunch of really, really clever chemists? The answer is a totally configurable batch chemistry solution like the one we have here right in front of us. And the neat thing about this particular product is that you can reconfigure it to your exact requirements without the need of any tools other than your two hands. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pull it apart and put it all back together again to show you just exactly how easy it is to do. So inside the Atlas HD is a full-blown computer and it offers you a range of different opportunities for connecting this computer to your network. You can see you've got LAN, you can see you've got um, serial interfaces, you can see you've got USB connections, and you can even automate other devices using the Atlas HD or by connecting this to a computer and having that automate other devices. So let's put it together. So what we have here is some connection ports for you to have external heating and cooling fluid flowing through your jacketed reactor. And what that enables you to do is to leave the, your external heater chiller connected, but disconnected from your water jacket if you'd like, or your fluid jacket. Let's put it together. Slips on just like that. Important point to mention, right up here at the top, when you push this down, this will essentially drain the fluid out of your jacket. The Scorpion enables you to control an overhead stirrer. And it just clicks straight into place like that. What we have here is a means to actually hold our glass vessel in place. And there's a number of really important points about this particular component. Firstly, you use this knob here to tighten the lid in place, but it's a ratchet style. So once it's at a desired tension, you can keep turning, but you will not break the glass. And the way that it holds it in place is these three teeth here move closer in to keep the lid on the vessel. So this single clamp can hold just about all of the different size vessels. We'll put the drip tray in place. And now what we're going to put into position is a simple device to hold our tubes when they're not being connected to our jacketed reactor. There's a number of innovations in the Cirrus glassware, including this spring-loaded drain valve and the nice way that it curves down here so that you get almost all of the product out simply by opening the valve. Let's load it. And then rotate. And now it's held in position and can't fall. What we have over here is a connection port for a bunch of different nodes. And we can put an expansion device like this one here, which will enable us to connect three or four, well in this case up to three different external sensors, such as pH, conductivity, turbidity, etc. Or we can simply slot in a single position node like this one right here. And in this case, it looks like we have a temperature probe. So again, it goes in until it clicks. To connect the stirrer to the vessel, slot it in like this and tighten it like so. You'll notice there's a port right here in case we want to put in inert gas. And to connect the stirrer, at the end of it, there are a range of different kinds of blades. Straight through. So the lid goes on just like this and tightens here from the front. And you can see these three teeth coming in to secure the lid to the actual vessel. Now we're going to connect the drive. Listen for the click, and away we go. So the motor goes straight over the top, and it's 
all auto centering, so you don't need to worry. Again, no tools, and here you go, listen for the click. Now we're going to put in one of the probes. In this case, it's a temperature probe. And away we go. Finally, we're going to put on the tubes for our jacketed reactor. And again, no tools required. Just finger tighten. You can have precise temperature control in the range from minus 90 up to plus 250 degrees C using an external temperature controller such as a Jalabo Presto series. Cirrus can control third party devices using the Atlas PC software. So you can have a range of different sensors including turbidity, temperature, pressure, pH, automated dosing, and the Atlas HD has the capability to define and monitor reaction conditions. With the fabulous touchscreen, it allows you to change parameters such as stirring, heating, dosing in real time, and display all data in a graphical way. It's easy to upgrade to a range of specific applications, including pH control, crystallization, high pressure, reaction calorimetry systems, so that you can do polymerization, process chemistry, parallel chemistry, nanoparticle synthesis, crystallization, etc. So that's the Atlas HD from Cirrus, a fabulous reactor if you want a range of different configurations and if you're not exactly sure what you might do tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to like our channel. Bye for now.